because both of you have done so much work in other venues and for a long time, why Pacifica? Because Pacifica is focused on depth and archetypal psychology and mythology. So maybe the answer is obvious, but do, do you want to say something about the reason that you've chosen to present this at Pacifica specifically? Well, we think, we think this is soul work. <laughs> uh, we think this is about tending the soul of the world. And, and of course, we know that that's what Pacifica is about. But we also, we also want to take this whole idea of depth psychology and archetypal psychology and bring it out of sort of its insular kind of groups that talk about it. I mean, depth psychology is often in, in, the, in the broader psychological community is often sort of just thought of as all oh, that's, that's old Freud and Jung stuff. And we, we really want to show that this is cutting edge. This is where things are today. And Pacific is just a fantastic setting for that with its combination of uh, depth archetypal and mythology. And of course, I love Pacific. It's a beautiful setting. The environment there in terms of the retreat center is just perfect for this. And, and I've spent a lot of time there. Ed, you have not spent so much time at Pacifica. What makes you think of Pacifica? Well, likewise, Pacifica is a world recognized and honorable world center for archetypal and mythological studies and for going deep. And as John said, this is soul work. Pacifica is committed to helping restore the soul of the world. And so Pacifica really seems to be the perfect setting to bring this work. There's very, very few programs like this in the country or in the world. And John and I have both been devoted to bringing archetypal work into the most challenging real world situation yes. because it gives us the tools and the theoretical frame with which we can most successfully cope with those conditions. So when we as most fields of psychology do, when we treat our warrior's wounds as post-traumatic stress disorder, the warriors turn away from us. They don't want to be diagnosed. They don't want to be seen as wounded. They don't want to be seen as diminished people. They don't feel diminished. They feel expanded, but they're not getting, they don't have the frame to put that in or the community to receive it. And so Pacifica and the archetypal approach fully expands and gives a home community. I would argue that the only two schools of psychological thinking accurate for our warriors are the phenomenological approach, which is what did you experience? <laughs> <laughs> and the archetypal approach, which is based on your experience, how were your depths affected and changed and stimulated to be challenged and to grow. Everything else is reductionist. Everything else is imposing an interpretation from without. It comes from the society, from the worldview of our times, from the professionals and what they feel safe practicing. But archetypally and phenomenologically, uh, again, it works. The warriors of all forms of service respond, and Pacifica is a world leader in teaching this approach and john and i are both honored to augment all the great teachings of pacifica by helping share how we've done very challenging real world work using the best archetypal tools mm -hmm.